Hello, Reigns. So, I'm in Portland. Uh, my friend Lexa called me. <laughs> Uh, and asked if I could come help her because she's struggling a bit with uh, executive function and couldn't take care of herself. So I decided um, after the last few months, I'm exhausted and overwhelmed as well. And I could use some me time in a new environment to, I don't know, figure out what I need. So uh, I realized I could do this just as well up here in California. Wait, up here in Oregon. I'm in Oregon. Uh, as I could in California. We're in Oregon. <laughs> We're in Oregon uh, as I could in California. So I packed up my set and my stuff and I drove up to spend some time with Lexa in Portland. Um, so here we are. Oh, wait, I have a thing. Uh, <laughs> so, um... Turns out budgeting is like more complicated than I realized. So um, also you should like really start budgeting for the holidays before the actual holidays. So um, I'm gonna have to tackle this in another episode. Uh, but in making this unplanned change, I did realize something. Money isn't the only resource we have to budget. Time, energy, these are also things. And the more you have of one, the less you need of the others. So if I were a millionaire, I could have hired movers and bought a plane ticket, but I'm not a millionaire. So I drove two days here and then like packed for two days and then was unpacking, uh, it, which turns out it takes a lot of time and energy. So um, this means that when I got here, my time and energy resources were actually more depleted than my money resources. Um, so I bought some bedroom furniture <laughs> without really caring how much it costs. And when I realized that the jokes about Ikea furniture really are true, uh, <laughs> um, I hired someone from a service called TaskRabbit to come and set up most of my bedroom furniture for me. And I felt bad. I felt irresponsible. Um, I kind of felt like a failure because I felt like I should have been able to look for deals or at least set up my own bedroom furniture and I couldn't. And um, then I thought about it. And if you think about it, time, money, and energy, if you think about them as three different bank accounts, it actually makes sense to draw from the one that is not already in overdraft. The same way you would say no to going out to eat when you're low on cash, I think it's okay to say no to things that take time or energy when you're low on time or energy. Does that mean we can't do a better job managing all those bank accounts um, so we don't have to make those hard decisions? Yeah, I mean, of course we can, but I did the best I could under the circumstances and now I have a bed. <laughs> I also now have no time, energy, or money left, and um, that might happen sometimes. So sometimes you don't have time or money or energy, and that's when you admit, you admit that you have nothing to give. And the fans who understand that, the friends who understand that you have to read everything you wanna say off a piece of cardboard so you don't have to edit it, or who sends soup or groceries because they know it's too hard to even get to the store. The ones who understand when you really, truly have nothing left. Those are your real friends. That's it for this vlog. And as you go into this holiday season, I hope you remember to pay attention to all your accounts, time, money, and energy, so that you can make sure not to go into overdraft. Thanks you, thank you to my brain advocates. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and all my Patreon brains. Wait, I have another page. <laughs> For making it so that I can continue to do this full time and have the ability to drive up to help a friend with no notice without having to worry about whether or not I'm going to lose my day job. We'll have a nor more normal style video out next time. Thanks for your patience with this. Um, once I get my stuff set up, I got my own like whole set here. Um, in the meantime, like, subscribe, click all the things and jingle the bell so that you don't miss me and Eric Tivers talking about how to enjoy the holidays. Bye brains.